हियर नाइट्रोजन बेस एंड विद एडिशन ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट यूनिट इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्लियोसाइड वेन द सेम नाइट्रोजन बेस एंड कार्बोहाइड्रेट यूनिट इफ इट इज कनेक्टेड टू पासपेट ग्रुप लाइक दिस पी डबल बॉन्ड ओ ओ माइनस ओ माइनस देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्लियोटाइड ड्यूरिंग द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डी एन ए एंड आर एन ए फाइव डैश पोजिशन ऑफ फर्स्ट न्यूक्लियोटाइड इज कनेक्टेड विथ थ्री डैश पोजिशन ऑफ सेकेंड न्यूक्लियोटाइड सो द टू कार्बोहाइड्रेट यूनिट्स आर द टू न्यूक्लियोसाइड यूनिट्स आर कनेक्टेड विथ ईच अदर वया ए पासपो डई एस्टर बॉन्ड लेट अस शो हाउ द बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन टेक्स प्लेस बिटवीन टू न्यूक्लियोसाइड मॉलिक्यूल्स to produce nucleic acids here i want to consider one carbohydrate wo this is the first position c1 position connected with nitrogen bases whereas oh h here is oh h here is h C H two O P double bond O O minus O minus. So this is one nucleotide. Now in this nucleotide, this is one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash. i want to consider one more nucleotide like this nitrogen base connected to first position hydrogen so we may consider it as dna then oh h h h c h2 o p double bond o o minus o minus here once again 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash 5 dash positions 5 dash position of first nucleotide is going to react with 3 dash position of second nucleotide so this is the reason why this is called as 3 dash end and it is called as 5 dash end so Phi dash position of first nucleotide reacts with three dash position of second nucleotide and forms O nitrogen base hydrogen. Here is H O H. Here is H O P double bond O O minus. it is connected to o c h2 it is connected to left over carbohydrate we can write it as hydrogen h o h h o h and this hydrogen is connected to nitrogen base and it is h c h2 o P double bond O O minus O minus. This is called as paspo diester bond. Paspo diester bond means two nucleotide molecules. connected with each other via a paspo diester bond it continuously takes place from 3 dash end to 5 dash end or 5 dash end to 3 dash end so they are going to form a long chain in the molecule so these long chain further converted into dna and rna so this is how the paspo diester bond formation takes place to produce the further structure of dna and rna in nucleic acids and next one let us have the structure of dna and rna here 
in our explanations regarding the structure of dna and rna dna will have double helix structure we can show it as like this this is one helix and this is another helix the double helix structure of dna so these two are called as strands one strands is 5 dash end it is with 3 dash another terminal position and another one is 3 dash starts with 3 dash and ends with 5 dash here during the bond formations nitrogen bases guanine always binded with cytosine via hydrogen bonding adenine always binded with thymine with hydrogen bond means during the formation of this c g similarly a t g c what is a t g c means a means adenine t means thymine g means guanine c means cytosine here adenine connected with thymine via hydrogen bonding similarly guanine also connected with cytosine via hydrogen bonding so it continuously takes place like this g t a t a etc so the two strands are connected with each other via hydrogen bonding so this is the structure of dna whereas in the structure of rna rna will have single strained structure that means only one strand present here in this a is connected to u because in rna there is absence of thymine in place of thymine uracil present this is the reason why adenine nitrogen base pair connected so base connected to uracil here g connected to t so sorry g connected to c that means guanine connected to cytosine adenine connected to uracil it continuously takes place and it is a single strand structure single strand structure now in structure of rna sometimes the strand will rotates like this u shape u shaped structures may be observed in rna somewhere here it is also having phi dash one side terminal position is phi dash another terminal position is three dash so it continuously take place till the completion of three dash terminal position to phi dash or phi dash terminal position to three dash here three types of rnas found to exist in human beings one is m rna we can consider it as messenger rna r rna we can consider it as ribosomal RNA and tRNA we can consider it as transfer RNA. So the three types of RNAs are present here. Actually DNA is double strand uh, helical structure and RNA is single strand structure. Here three types of RNAs. The RNA is much useful for protein synthesis protein synthesis whereas DNA is useful to carry out messages from one generation to another generation or characteristics from one generation to another generation via transcription and replication process whereas via translation process RNA is utilized in the utilized to produce protein synthesis in living organism body so here is this whereas let us have the next one importance of importance of nucleic acids so already i was told you just now the nucleic acids are nothing but they are useful they are a type of chemical substances present in nucleus of every cell which are useful to carry information or characteristics from one generation to another generation it seems to be heredity 
so the characteristics are parent generation sometimes the characteristics of parent generation is seems to be in its their daughter generation it is called as heredity